Afternoon, we begin at four with growing concerns about street racing and road takeovers leading to gun violence. And this comes after that shooting sent five people to the hospital Sunday, but that's far from the only instance on police radars. Our John Duran spoke with police about new clues they're getting from a separate incident. Police say they arrested two men for racing on Kessler Boulevard near I-65 Sunday night. One of those cars allegedly rear-ended another car driving on Kessler with a pregnant woman inside. Police say one of the drivers racing told officers they were traveling 60 miles an hour in a 35. Court records show the pregnant woman complained of pain but did not show if she was taken to the hospital. Police say when they responded to the crash on Kessler Boulevard, they recognized several persons of interest from an earlier incident on MLK Street. Oftentimes we see people on the roofs or hoods of cars driving around, spending activities, reckless driving. Um, and at times we've seen you know, fights and even shots fired in that area. Police say a large gathering of people at the scene of the crash were on MLK Street earlier that night doing burnouts and taking over the intersection of 27th and MLK Street, an event police say looks like this. And I hear this is the second week in a row that they've had problems uh, on, on Sundays with, with the cruising and, and the lawlessness. And, and it's lawlessness. You can't just decide to park your car in the middle of the street, four or five cars, you're parking your car in the middle of the street so no other traffic can get through. A woman I spoke to that lives nearby told me this group gathers every week and blocks her street. So we're hearing from the community that this is just too much. Uh, and this has been going on for a long time by different various levels. You know, in the past, people said, you know, let us drive, let us leave us alone. But what we're hearing now is that people expect more. IMPD says moving forward, they'll have an increased police presence in the area. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News. And police also tell us they're in the process of developing a plan to prevent gatherings like the ones this weekend from happening.